What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Nier Reincarnation video. You want to start farming pure dark weapons, but you don't know how. I am going to go over it step by step, the most efficient way to start farming your pure dark weapons. I'm going to refer to them as black weapons in this video because somebody brought it to my attention in the comments. If there's a new player or someone that just started the game, they might think that I'm talking about the dark element and most likely will be completely confused when I reference them as dark weapons or pure dark weapons. So we're going to call them black weapons from this point forward. Shout out to you guys in the comments. You always give me awesome tips. So you decided that you want to start farming black weapons. The first thing you're going to do is go to your quests. You're going to go to main quests. You are going to clear chapters one through nine on normal. Once you do that, you will unlock hard and this will allow you to open up the dark weapons. So if we click on quest 10, we will see right next to the boss, we have a first clear weapon and this is a black weapon. Now this weapon is considered one of the best black weapons in the game currently as a new player. The thing about it is and what I learned on my journey collecting all this research to make this video, it is best to farm all the weapons equally. And when I say that, I mean unlock all of the pure dark weapons and bring them up equally stage by stage and not just doing one weapon at a time. Because what happens is when you clear stage four for one of your weapons, you're going to unlock the intermediate stage. And then after that, once you go to stage eight, you're going to unlock the advanced stage. Much more efficient for us to farm all nine boss floors every day than just farming one boss floor doing one weapon at a time. So to break this down step by step and make it really easy for you guys to understand, the first step is going to be unlocking all of your black weapons. So you're gonna go from chapter one all the way down to chapter nine and you're gonna unlock every single one of your black weapons. And to do that, all you have to do is clear these stages on hard and clear the last quest 10. And once you do that, you will unlock the black weapon. To open up the memory quest after you open up all the weapons, you have to come to very hard mode chapter one and just clear quest four once you do that you will unlock the memory quest dungeon which is the darkest memory dungeon and you'll find that on the bottom where it says dark memory quest once we clear chapter one very hard we'll see that we have six characters that match our six weapons now there is two more but i haven't unlocked them yet i left them unlocked for video purposes i will unlock them right after the video once i clear the last two floors i'll unlock all the weapons and then i will farm these equally all the information i collected over the past couple days it is definitely in your best interest to farm the weapons equally. So for example, what we have so far is the beginner stages, the easy stages, and then after we bring the weapon up to stage four, we're gonna get the intermediate stages. Then after we get to stage eight, we're gonna get the evolutionary stages. You could say easy, normal, and hard, but you're gonna get three stages. The weapon goes up to stage 12, so at stage four and stage eight and stage 11, you will get new quests to farm for that stage. So for example, you're gonna farm dark coins and dark tickets. I don't think it matters which one you farm more. I would say farm the tickets first until you complete your summon log each month and you get all the resources from the chapter summons, which I'll show you in just one second because the stuff in the dark coin shop is super expensive. So it's going to be a lot of farming before you're able to buy something from that shop. Now the top one, you can only do it once a day anyways. It's going to be much more efficient for us to farm nine boss floors every day, supposed to just farming one, which will make this process a lot quicker. Now I know it sounds overwhelming. Oh, I have to farm all the weapons at once. It's not that you have to, but it definitely will make things a lot easier for you going forward. So step one would be locking all of the weapons and the memory quest. Step two would be farming all of these stages until you get the weapons to stage four, which would bring you into stage three. Then once you do that, you'll get beginner's trials and then you're gonna to wanna to clear those. After that, the next step is going to be getting all of your dark weapons up to level seven. Then after that, you're gonna clear the intermediate trial. Then you're going to bring all your weapons up to stage 11 and then that's going to open up the advanced stage i know this can sound a little overwhelming when you're first breaking into pure dark weapons but i want to throw it all out on the table for you guys so you guys can completely understand how it works and you don't make the same mistake that i did just farming one weapon at a time so to show you more of a clear example and before i do that let me just show you the chapter summons that i'm talking about what these tickets give you so if you go to chapter and you scroll all the way down to the bottom you'll see dark memory you have this banner summons and this is what the tickets go into so when you farm the tickets you bring them here and you summon I would recommend once you max this out and you get all of these rewards, then I would definitely switch to dark coins. You can farm up some extra tickets as well. So when it resets at the first of the month, you'll have some summons to do to jump right in there and get all of these rewards that you need to upgrade your black weapons. The dark coins you farm, you'll be able to use in the dark coin exchange shop. You'll see you have all the resources that you can farm from the quest here in the shop. So as you farm up your dark coins, you'll be able to come here and buy whatever resources you might need or be missing. Now just keep in mind, the Brilliance box is super expensive. It's going to take quite some time to farm this. Then the Polycrystal of Thought is not that bad. It's only 4,000 and you're going to need these to ascend the weapons because you won't be able to get 
copies of these weapons so the only way to ascend them is by getting this polycrystal of thought so this is something you definitely want to be farming dark coins for being it's the only way to get it outside of an event then same thing with the supreme box that's only 2000 it's not so bad i'd recommend just farming dark coins for now getting as many as you can and then just buy whatever one you need when that time comes the way you can tell they're black weapons is we have the brilliance box underneath the type and element and that shows you that it is a black weapon so far i've only been working on the pure lotus and i'm very happy that i didn't bring this to stage four yet because i'm going to farm all the other weapons up equally doing it this way is going to be much more efficient than doing it one at a time as you farm the resources needed to evolve the weapon it'll start at a base three star and then it will go to four star and then it will max out at five stars and that will happen by going through the stages to evolve the weapon so we'll see that we're going up to stage four next again this goes up to stage 12. You want to have all the resources to bring all of these weapons up to stage four first. Evolving the weapons is the most important thing first because that's going to be the longest part of this. Even with the skills, I mean, if you have the resources and you want to start leveling up the skills because you want to use the weapon, that's fine. In order to evolve the weapon, you will also have to enhance the weapon. That's another thing to keep in mind. Make sure you have the resources and gold you need to enhance these weapons to level 50 because you are going to be doing all of them, not just one of them. That'd be the first step in building the weapon up through its stages. The best way to look at this is in three stages, stage four, stage seven, and stage 11. Each one of those stages is going to unlock a new set of trial quests. So like we talked about before, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Every time you bring a weapon up to one of those key stages, four being the first one, seven being the second one, 11 being the third one, you're going to get a new set of quests to farm. That's why it's recommended to do them all at the same time. It's the most efficient way to do this because you can farm nine boss floors every day as opposed to just farming one. And then when you're ready to ascend it, that will let you power the weapon up to its max level and you will need the polycrystal of thought to do so, which will be found in the dark coin shop. The reason why I think it's best to farm so many tickets and dark coins kind of evenly. This way you're able to get all of the resources you need to upgrade these awesome black weapons. Farming the boss floor is not easy content. So again, I don't think this is early game content. It's definitely mid to late game content, but you could definitely start farming this stuff as in the dark coins and the summoning tickets until you get a team that's ready to go onto the boss floor. You do want to try to clear the boss floors as quick as possible because like we talked about, that's the most efficient way to farm both resources at the same time and you can only hit it once a day. And that's why it's recommended to do all the weapons at once because in doing that, you'll be able to farm nine boss floors every day as opposed to just one. It's really going to be up to you when you want to start farming this stuff. I would say get in there, start doing the normal quest first. There's nothing wrong with starting off farming your summoning tickets, your dark coins. Just don't bring anything past stage four until you're ready to really jump into this content and go hands on with it and farm everything at once and farm the boss floors every day. So until you start clearing the boss floors, I wouldn't go too crazy with this. I would just farm my dark coins and my summoning tickets every day so I can start stocking up on those resources. The one thing I will tell you about the boss floors is make sure you're the dominant element. I don't know if you're going to be able to order this right away. If you manual it, it will be a lot easier for you because then you can hold your skills until the boss takes a turn. Because once the boss gets a 25% HP, he starts AoEing and he's going to just demolish your entire team. So that's something we'll leave for another video. But there's nothing wrong with opening this content up. Start farming your summoning tickets, your dark coins. Get all the resources you need to start bringing up your black weapons to stage 4. And then once you have all of your weapons stage 4, you can move on to stage 7 and then stage 11. It's basically just a rinse and repeat until you finish the entire thing. And then at the end, you will unlock a dark character as well. So that is something else to look forward to at the end of this. The one thing to take away from this is build evenly. That's the best way to go about it. Farm as many dark coins and summoning tickets as you can. Do the boss floors whenever you can and don't bring stuff past stage four until you're ready to go into those harder stages so for example if you can't clear this one you're not gonna be able to clear the next one so wait until you're clearing this content before you go to the harder content that's going to come in the future i will put a step-by-step -step play box on the screen for you somewhere over here just in case i did a bad job at explaining all of this this is the second time i'm making this video the first video i wasn't very clear about all this so i hope this clears everything up if you guys have something to add to this please comment down below i'd love to hear what you guys have to say thank you guys so much for the support here on youtube we're so close to 4,000 subs once we reach it we'll start another sub celebration if you want to follow me on twitch and discord those are always linked down below we do two monthly giveaways on discord random giveaways on twitch if you want to be a part of the random giveaway that we do here on youtube all you do is sub to the channel like and comment on my past 10 videos and that will automatically enter to the random giveaway i pick those winners on discord i truly do love each and every single one of you i will see you in the next one Spaceballs out. Peace.